ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पाक टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू फाइंड द आईपी एड्रेस ऑफ ए कंप्यूटर बाय यूजिंग सी हैच डॉट नेट प्लेटफॉर्म सो हाउ वी कैन डू दैट फर्स्ट वी विल क्रिएट ए न्यू प्रोजेक्ट इन सी हैच लैंग्वेज द कंपाइलर विच वी आर यूजिंग इज द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विजुअल स्टूडियो so here we will click on visual c hash windows windows forms application we can change the name of the project to ip finder you can write any other name of your own choice now our window has been opened and this is our win form window for c hash dot net we will take one push button and one what is called is the text box uh where is the text box this is our text box okay okay now so we will double click on this push button so that all the uh code which we want to write it must be inside these two brackets because when the push button one will get pressed all the statements within these two brackets will get executed so first uh, we will also add some libraries you can see these uh, things like using system dot dot text this is this library is related with text okay using system dot text okay and using system dot net these two libraries are important what is inside it because they contain certain functions so that we can get our code executed okay now first of all we will write a library that is called as dns dns okay so dns is a library which will give us the host name dot get host name or we can get host by name or just get host name is enough for us get host name dns dot get host name now dot get host name is a function or method which belongs to this dns main class okay so we can call dns dot get host name and one more thing that we after we will get the host name we need to we need to store it in a variable that is called as h underscore n you can write any other name h means host and n means name but but we we can even write cdf abc xyz or anything okay this is just a variable and its type is string data type okay so string h underscore and now the information or host name is stored inside this variable okay which is which acts just like a data pocket so this is so now we will write console dot write line console dot dot write or oh sorry console dot sorry console dot write line okay and we will write h underscore n and we will get the host name or like this on the console now you can see that this is our host name now we will go for one more thing that is the ip name so we will write here string string my underscore ip is equal to dns dot get host name okay host by name okay get host by name by name this is our second function dot get host by name h underscore n okay and then we need to write dot address list now this is indexing dot to string to string now what is this now this thing that is the first part of the coding line dns dot get host by name h, h underscore n this will give us the whole host name okay then on its index zero on address list okay because address list can consist of multiple things and from these multiple things or list 
we want the thing which is on index zero and on, and on index zero it is the ip it is the ip and we also need to convert it into the string because uh because we want to uh, show or store it in the my underscore ip variable so it must have to be converted to string again i am repeating that this this portion of the line or coding line will give us the whole uh, data and from this address list type data we will just get the uh, first index or on zero index thing which is on zero index and that is actually the ip but it is not in the string format so so we have to convert it in the string format and then it will be stored inside my underscore ip my underscore ip so now we will write a text box one text box one dot text is equal to my underscore ip okay so now we will see that either now we can get our uh, what is called as ip address so hopefully you got the concept that how we can write or how we can find the ip address of our uh, pc so hopefully uh, you will find no difficulty so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe